Hello? Dear Camila, your mother and I will be working past midnight. Happy birthday. Sorry we couldn't be there. Love, Mom and Dad. P.S. There's something for you in the fridge. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Sorry I'm late. Don't worry about it. Thank you. So, how was it? Get anything good? Did you throw a party in the dirty basement of a crack house or something? No, my parents were working late again. Yeah, they didn't even have time to get me a gift. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I would have come over. Don't worry about it. I'm used to it. I just hate feeling like an afterthought, you know what I mean? My parents do care, even if it's in some sort of messed up way. They do care. I hope so. My parents probably care too. I just wish they'd act a little more often. It just makes me excited for the day I can get out of this damn town. Have you ever thought about running away? Well, the better question is when I don't think about it. I'd love to, but there's so many things that I'd need to take into account. Like? Well, for one, money. I don't have an allowance, and I don't have a job to make up for that. And number two, there's nowhere for me to go. Nowhere that would want me, at least. I actually have a friend that lives a few towns over. She lives alone, but I think she'd be down to let us stay with her for a bit. Wait, us? I never said I was actually gonna do it. It's just a thought I've had. And plus, you're kind of forgetting about the money part. You kind of need that to survive. My parents are kind of, like, made of money. I think we're good in that arena. I... I don't know. I just don't think I can just get up and leave. dark place where the sun never shines. On the platform, you're surrounded by people who don't move, who don't speak. The trains come and go, but they never get on. They just stand around in silence, like dead statues. In the distance, beyond the tracks, there's light, like the sun is rising. But it won't reach you unless you take the next train. What do you do? Look for the light, or stay still and silent in the dark?
Sorry about your birthday. I'll see you later. Can they stop fighting for 10 goddamn seconds for once in their life? Every day and night is the exact same, just them screaming at each other over a new problem after problem after problem that both of them just blame each other for anyways. At what point does it become enough for them? Is this some kind of twisted addiction? I can't even remember what their normal voices sound like anymore. This is the new normal, and it makes me so unbelievably sick that I think I'm gonna have a goddamn stroke. Every single time they fight, a piece of me dies inside. My love for my parents has been replaced with nothing but absolute hate-filled repulsion. Jesus Christ, if you can't work out your damn problems, just get a fucking divorce already. If you're seriously up for this, pack your stuff, get some money if you can, and meet me at the dock tomorrow in town at 12pm. I've made up my mind. Oh, you made it. I decided I'd finally say something to my parents last night. They didn't like that very much. They were yelling at me way past midnight. Anyways, you have everything you need. We should probably get going as soon as possible. Um, we have quite the adventure ahead of us. Yeah, I've got all the essentials. I think I've got everything I need. Well then, I guess we shouldn't waste any time. Well, sure, it'd make things a lot easier, but our main goal right now is to save the money that we have. I don't know how much money you have on you, but regardless of that, saving money is one of our biggest priorities right now if we want to survive on our own. Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense, but isn't jumping trains, like, really dangerous? Well, what we're doing now is already dangerous enough as it is. Fair enough, I guess. Well. We have a few hours to kill. Do you want to eat before we catch the train, or should we wait until after, considering the whole money thing? Well, yeah. I guess we could get something to eat. Uh, there's actually a restaurant just around the corner. Uh, we just can't stay long if we want to catch the next train. Alright, that makes sense. Let's go.
So, what can I get you guys a drink? Um, I'd just like a water. That would be fine. Actually, I'll have a water too. Okay. Ooh. And what about to eat for today? Um, I think I'd like to try your grilled cheese. Grilled cheese? It's a good one. Alright, and you? I think I'll get the same actually too. Ooh. Good, good choice. It's my personal favorite around here. It's good, nice and simple. Alright, I'll be back shortly. We need to get out of here fast, and this food isn't exactly within our budget. What, what do you mean? You're not talking about- As soon as the waiter isn't paying attention, we're gonna make a run for it. I didn't agree to do anything illegal. Well, sorry in advance, but he's not paying attention. Grab your stuff. I could have easily paid for that. I'm just doing what we had to. We have to save as much money as possible. I've already said this. Yeah, well, you didn't tell me we'd be doing anything dangerous or illegal. I never agreed to do anything like that. Everything about this is dangerous, and yet you still went along with it. Hell, you were the one that encouraged us to do this in the first place. Honestly, if you don't like how I'm doing things, then you might as well just go home. Excuse me? I'm not just going to go home. I left for a reason. We both left for a reason. You know that! Well then stop complaining. I know it's not ideal, but the money we have is limited and I'm just trying to do what's best. Well what's best could get us charged and the money that you care about so deeply would be gone and we would be right back where we started. Did you ever think about it like that? You're right. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. You know, I've just been so focused on getting us out of here that, like, that... It's fine, it's just... Please don't spring stuff like that on me out of nowhere. We're almost at the tracks, let's just get going. Yeah, let's just get out of here. train tracks are just up ahead. Already? That was so fast. We're so close. Yeah, we're almost there. I can't wait to see what my new life will be like. 